talk to you guys in a minute and today is going to be a really fun video for you guys because I did a DIY video I haven't done one in such a long time but because it's Christmas I wanted to do a nice DIY video for you guys and I did some Christmas treats I'm doing this video in collaboration with my friend here on YouTube Karina Garcia so after you guys watch my video please head over to her channel and watch her video as well I will link everything in the description bar down below for you guys if you guys are new coming to my channel I just want to say welcome to my channel my name is Tanya I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed to me and also since all these changes with YouTube um, please hit that little bell by the subscribe button and that way you guys will be notified whenever I upload a new video so I hope you guys enjoy this video please like I said don't forget to head over to Karina's channel and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys Okay guys, so the first treat we're going to make are these elf donuts and you're going to need Cheerios, sprinkles, powdered sugar, and a little bit of cocoa powder. The cocoa powder I got was out of our hot chocolate box in the pantry. So then I just set up the Cheerios nicely on a paper towel. This can be a little messy, that's why I wanted to lay it out first. And then I'm going to go in with the powdered sugar and put that right onto a dish and then I'm taking a little bit of water and mixing it in. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want the powder to stick to my Cheerio and remember all this is is like powdered sugar so you can definitely eat this afterwards so then I'm just gonna dunk my Cheerio in there and then put it right on the sugar and then it sticks so it's perfect it looks like a perfect little powdered donut so then going in with the cocoa I'm just doing the same thing taking that water and then just mixing it up and this is going to be our chocolate donut and I'm just gonna mix it up really quickly here for you guys and then I'm gonna take another uh, Cheerio and just dunk it into that chocolate and then when I lift it up here you guys are gonna see it looks exactly like a chocolate donut it's like a chocolate glazed donut I guess so then I go in now and I'm going to add my sprinkles and just be careful with this because it does get a little messy but as you can see I did do a lot of sprinkles here so I took a little q-tip and just broke it in half and just made my whole through the sprinkle part because I wanted you guys to see that it was like basically it looked like a donut so this is how they look when they're all done I actually got this little like I think this was like a yarn box and I these are pretty tedious to do but look at how tiny they were compared to the regular donut so now just going into our reindeer cookies you're gonna need but nutter butter cookies some vanilla frosting some mini M&Ms, um, also you're going to need some mini pretzels and some candy shop like little eyeballs that I found from Publix or any supermarket you can get them in. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of the frosting and put it where the top of the head is going to be. I'm just doing it very slightly and then I'm going in with a Q-tip because I couldn't find anything else but it was a clean Q-tip guys. And I went in with the vanilla and then I put that as two eyes there and then the nose. So I'm going in with the eyes and these are candy eyes so these are edible as well and then I'm using my M&M as the nose I used obviously a red nose because I want them to be like Rudolph and then I'm going in with the pretzel for the antlers so I love making these they're so cute and my dog ate a few of these because he loves peanut butter. So the next thing we're going to make are some brownie Christmas trees. So as you guys can see, I've already made my brownies. You're going to need some vanilla frosting. You're going to need some green food coloring. You're going to need sprinkles as well. Also these mini candy canes. And then the last thing you're going to need is a, a sandwich bag. So I'm going to take my butter knife and I'm going to cut really slowly into the brownies. And I'm going to make triangle shapes just like Christmas trees. If you want more, I think you need like a bigger batch. But I got only like maybe four out of this batch. I think I made my trees a little too big. So I'm just going to take the frosting and put that in a bowl. And then I'm going to go in with the food coloring. And I'm just going to mix that in because I want it obviously to be green so I'm just gonna mix all that food coloring in I felt like this was a little too light for me so all I did was add in like two more drops of the food coloring and just darkened up that green color so you're just gonna mix that in and finish up there and you're gonna take your spoon and put it right in that sandwich bag and this is such an easy quick thing to do I never knew about this but it's just so easy to do so after you get that in the bag you seal it up and then what you're gonna do is squeeze it to the bottom 
and you're going to take a pair of scissors and cut a tiny piece off of the bottom, not too big. You want a small little hole and that way you can decorate your Christmas trees. This was so simple and easy. I was really impressed with this method, but as you can see, I got a little messy, but you guys can be a little bit more uh, neater than I am. Anyway, so then I'm gonna go in with the candy canes and what I do is I just break the candy cane and then I'm gonna take that part that, um, the smallest part and put that right at the stem so it can be the stem of our tree. So now just taking the sprinkles, I'm just gonna sprinkle them right on top of the tree. It's gonna make it look like little lights, I guess. It just looks so cute. The kids really love this and yeah, this is so nice. You guys can do this for like your Christmas parties at work or at school or anything like that. And it's really fun and creative. So the next thing I'm going to do guys is we're making Rice Krispie treats. So I've never done these before. So obviously you're gonna need Rice Krispies, the sweet buttercream, you're going to need the food coloring as well marshmallows and sprinkles okay I had food like the food dye the red food dye but uh, you guys I burnt the whole red batch but you know anyway the other two batches came out fine so what you're gonna do is cut the butter um, to you want three tablespoons of butter in each batch and then you're going to heat up a pot and you're going to let that butter soak in soak you're going to let that butter melt in the pot and then you're going in with three cups of those mini marshmallows you're going to let that uh, melt as well and this is what happened to me so don't have the heat up too much because I did burn my red batch but the white batch and the green batch were saved so yeah so then this is how it's going to look and then I'm throwing in my food coloring right now and I'm still mixing it up and I'm trying to hurry up because I don't want it to burn I take it off that heat and then I throw in three cups of the Rice Krispies. And it's gonna start getting like really mushy, mushy here. Like I didn't realize, I thought I did something wrong, but apparently I did it right. So you're just gonna keep stirring that until you get everything mixed in. Let it cool for a good like maybe five minutes. And this is where I just start throwing in my sprinkles and then I'm going to go in again and mix it up because I want the sprinkles to be distributed throughout the whole Rice Krispie. So yeah, so I'm just going to mix everything up just keep throwing in some sprinkles as much as you would like and then after that I'm just going to start molding them into balls here I wish I had my red ones because I think they would have came out so pretty but you know I can always do another batch later um, but yeah so I'm just molding them into balls here and just placing them on my plate and pretty much that's it guys they came out so cute I love these rice crispy treats and you guys will love them too please don't forget guys to subscribe to my channel head over to Karina's channel and watch her video as well and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy holiday guys. Bye!